Julian, seven Labor ministers and assistant ministers were given Qantas upgrades after the government decided to stop Qatar from expanding into Australia, which experts believe would have brought down the cost of airfares. Economy to first class, some on international flights, that's not a good look, is it? Well, I mean, in relation to the Prime Minister, this stuff goes back exactly, as Keith said, 20, 25 years. And, gee, what an investigation. It's all been declared on the parliamentary register. Same as the propositions or, that you just put. I mean, what a, what a great investigation. What a piece of investigative journalism to Google the parliamentary register and go, oh, look what's declared there. Correlation is not causation. It would make a really clear fundamental point. Uh, no one could accuse the government of being soft on Qantas with respect to industrial relations laws. They screamed from the rooftops when the government rightly passed laws, forcing them to treat workers fairly, forcing them not to use sham outsourcing, forcing them to pay workers proper wages. And it looks like, and I'll be very careful with my words here, as a result of a recent court case, they may be facing a ginormous bill to compensate workers um, for illegal industrial relations practices. So, you know, I mean, see this for what it is. It's a chase, another chase for a cheap headline today, the proposition you put to Keith earlier. Um, this stuff's been on the public record for, I don't know, 20, 25 years. A little bit of hypocrisy too. It was Peter Dutton who claimed $6,000 from the taxpayer to fly to Gina Reinhart's uh, birthday party. It was Peter Dutton who likes free flights on Gina Reinhart's billionaire private jet. It was Peter Dutton who claimed $23,000 from the taxpayer to fly to a News Corp event in Tamworth to give a speech about cost of living. I mean, it's a little bit hypocritical and a bit rich. Yeah, just on that, Keith, the Prime Minister, in his attempt to deflect said that Peter Dutton took private jet flights with billionaire Gina Reinhart, but he seemed to also forget that he took a private helicopter flight with billionaire Lindsay Fox. Well, here we are on the eve of a federal election and we still have this government pretending like they're in opposition where they get asked legitimate questions and they engage in whataboutism, and we've just heard that then. Uh, this... It, this relationship with Qantas uh, so isn't about? just a normal relationship. So Let's about? remember the referendum that we just had, and we had a commercial airline cover their planes in one position. In one position, even though many of their staff, many of their customers have an entirely opposite position. That wasn't normal. The relationship between the CEO of Qantas and the Prime Minister was not normal. To pick up the phone and personally request an upgrade is, is not business as usual. And it should be investigated and it doesn't pass the pub test. And Julian knows that. Julian, your response? Nothing to say. Nothing to say. I mean, he'd completely avoided the point you just put to him. Nothing to say about Gina Reinhart and private jets. Nothing to say about free flights on billionaire private what about jets. Him? I don't know. What about influencing him? the oppositions on mining policy, on IR policy. I mean, it's ridiculous. Julian, it was a bit of a word salad in the press conference from the PM yesterday. He spoke about a private number at Qantas that he could call. What can the Prime Minister do today to assure the public that everything is above board because... The opposition will probably make this an issue in question time next week. Well, I expect they will make it an issue in question time because they don't want to talk about cost of living. They don't want to talk about inflation coming down. They don't want to talk about a tax cut for every taxpayer. They certainly don't want to talk about their dodgy, risky nuclear reactor fantasy and what the costings might be that they haven't released. Of course they'll make it an issue. As sure as night follows day. The PM's addressed this. He's addressed it clearly. No doubt if you ask him again, he'll address it again. And you're right, it'll come up in Parliament next week. But it's really telling what they don't want to talk about. They voted against every cost of living policy. When I go door knocking, when I'm out on the streets, Australians want to know what the government is doing uh, about cost of living, which is the number one concern, and inflation is coming down. Of course they don't want to talk about that. OK. Julian Hill and Keith Wallahan, appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you.